Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rupali Shah, a blockchain developer and your instructor at Newton School. So today's topic is a bit different. We are going to see that uh, how you can link IPFS with your uh, blockchain applications. Like we are going to use IPFS to store something and then we are going to use those storage uh, links on our particular chain and then we will be seeing that how you can store that particular link on your blockchain so basically we are gonna see that uh, how we can use ipfs as a storage property and how we can make applications on blockchain so let's get started and uh, before moving i would like you to introduce with newton school it is an edtech company that helps you to become a full stack developer so to get all the details of the courses don't forget to click on the link in the description it is gonna help you a lot to get all the information about that particular course and the best part about newton school is that uh, it guarantee you a placement from uh, 0 lakhs to 40 lakhs and it also helps you to get the courses for free in the beginning once you get placed then only you need to pay for your courses so don't forget to check out the link in the description that will surely help you to understand our course pattern understand the details of every bit of the course and help you to become a full stack developer so let's move to the browser and let's see that uh, like in our previous video we have already gone through like how you can upload a particular image or a particular file on uh, ipfs but today we are gonna link that ipfs with our blockchain applications so let's get started so this was a a small website which we created to store uh, the image on our IPFS. So first we are gonna uh, store the particular image on our IPFS and once we will be having the link of the IPFS we will be seeing that how we can use this particular link and how we can link this storage of IPFS with our blockchain applications. So choose the file that you want to store on IPFS. Let's select the shoes and let's say open. So this will open and the data will be stored on the IPFS then it will be returning us a link which will be IPFS link of course and uh, till then let's open uh, Remix and let's uh, start building our particular application. So it's done so let us just check it out. Okay it's uh, loading till then we can just open Remix ID. Remix ID and... Uh, okay so it is giving us some error let us try again let's uh, select some different image and let's see what's the problem um i guess the problem is not with the particular image or thing yeah now it's done it may be the network issue uh, because of which we face that so no worries and uh, this is the important link so we are gonna copy this link of course now what's the thing is uh, let's create a particular application let's say uh, pick application pick.sol application and uh, from a previous uh, file let's bring two things one will be the license and the second one will be the solidity compiler uh, let's grab two things uh, in this file also and let's create a contract let's uh, name it as pick and over here okay uh, wrong bracket sorry for that yeah now over here let's have a string and let's say that the string is a public string and like string and it will be taking two things one will be the name and let's say that uh, the value to this name okay no let's not give any name value and the second will be the pick so we will be having public and this will be taking the pick now what we are gonna do is we are gonna create a function and this function will be set detail function basically details and this is uh, gonna take two things one will be the string memory name so let's keep it n and the second one will be string uh, memory and uh, that thing would be the pick so let's keep it p 
and let's say that it's a public function and now uh, we will be saying that name will be is equals to n and pick will be is equals to uh, sorry uh, yeah pick will be is equals to p now what we are gonna do is let's just compile it okay we got an error uh, hmm. the error is in this line okay instead of uh, that uh, uh, we need comma over here now let's see so we got a successful compilation so everything is working fine now let's just uh, deploy it on our uh, ants uh, network let's select that particular network or uh, injected web3 and i guess the network would be beans only now let's just deploy our uh, pick uh, dot sol uh, contract and uh, once it's doc, uh, like uh, deployed uh, once the confirmation comes and we just confirm it we will be moving to our uh, storage stuff like uh, how you can use this particular uh, link to have a particular uh, this particular profile pic like this particular image as your profile pic or your pic so i guess uh, we have to confirm the transaction now let's just confirm the transaction and once the transaction will get confirmed we will be uh, of course of course exploring this also that uh, how the data looks like and everything so yeah let's get started first with this particular transaction it's taking a while because of blockchain like it takes few minutes to mint and the network also mm -hmm. no issues uh since uh, yeah we uh, have been like done with this now we can just explore this particular contract okay it got failed and this failure occurred because because we were not having right internet connection let's try to deploy it again let's click on the deploy button it's showing us a creation of pick pending pending status yeah we got the confirmation let's just confirm our transaction let's wait a while right So once this particular transaction will get confirmed, uh, it's pending right now. Let's just speed up. Uh, no worries with the gas fees because we are on a test net. So we can just go for the speed up button and we can pay few extra uh, yans chain uh, like uh, crypto for this. Okay, we just got for the two okay this also got failed right um the main issue is with uh, the internet only over here and uh, let's wait for this last one this also got failed okay this got completed right so we can explore this particular uh, transaction on our blockchain so let's go and explore it out let's just have the decode of this and yeah this is the contract address you can match this address on your remix id also like this over here was created so now we will be uh, like giving the details now the name will be simple nft so let's have a demo and uh, demo demo nft and let's give the pick of this particular nft so we will be grabbing the same uh url which we had over here so let's just grab that url let's just paste that url over here and let's go make a transaction so once your transaction will be done uh, once the transaction get completed then you will be storing the image in the form of ipfs uh, link and uh, when you will be wanted to access the image you just need to access this particular link so this is how you can use the string data type to store the pic uh, url and this url can be ipfs url okay it's taking a bit of time let's create a transaction again 
आई गेस दिस टाइम इज बिकॉज वी आर विथ अ वेरी स्लो इंटरनेट कनेक्शन सो लेट्स जस्ट वेट अ बिट बिकॉज ऑफ इंटरनेट कनेक्शन और एल्स लेट मी जस्ट स्विच टू अनदर इंटरनेट वी जस्ट हैव टू ऑप्शन सो नॉट दैट मच ग्रेट या सो आर आर ट्रांजेक्शन अकर्ड एंड लेट्स जस्ट कंफर्म द ट्रांजेक्शन एंड वंस द ट्रांजेक्शन इज कंफर्म ओके वी जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कंफर्म वन ट्रांजेक्शन सो वंस द ट्रांजेक्शन विल बी कंफर्म वी कैन हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्रांजेक्शन ऑन आर बी एंड नेटवर्क एंड ओवर हेयर इन डेटा फील्ड ओके दिस वॉज फॉर द डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्रांस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ओनली लाइक नॉट दिस ट्रांजेक्शन अकर्ड सो लेट्स ट्राई इट अगेन लेट्स मेक अ ट्रांजेक्शन अगेन एंड इफ दिस ट्रांजेक्शन विल गेट कंफर्म देन वी वुड बी एबल टू फेच द डेटा फेच द प्रोफाइल पेक फेच द नेम फ्रॉम आर दिस बियांस ट्रांजेक्शन हैश and you can also move to this particular contract and over here in the contract you can basically go and uh, like uh, you can decompile the byte code and you can just decompile the particular byte code to look the transaction like uh, the whole contract and you can also go to the events like what all events have occurred with this particular transaction like set details we have called for two times and it also shows you the events which we have so yeah it's a good place to get exposure of your particular transaction now uh, over here since our transaction has been occurred successfully we can move to the block explorer and over here we can grab the details okay it's not showing us details and uh, this is because we are yeah it's now getting this particular uh, ipfs so let's have the data is not able to decode but no issues we have seen that okay over here in ut8 you can see that we have this particular url which we uh, try to mint so you can just copy this particular url and you can fetch the image from ipfs so this is how you can use the ipfs link and then you can link a particular ipfs storage with your application so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video because it motivates us to create more such videos and it also will help you to get the notifications of our upcoming videos so thank you for watching